how weird is it that when you say pride, yeah. people immediately think of gay? Pride means gay. Yeah. How wild is that? Yeah. That they did that. Yeah. They own, like, that's, it's, it's. Cain com- Velasquez has brown pride tattooed on his chest. Yeah. Now people are like, what are you trying to say? He's gay brown. Yeah. What's that? What are you trying to say? <laughs> you know, it used to be you were proud. Right. No, it, now it's gay. It's man, it definitely means wild. Queer. Yeah. Pride month. Queer month. I mean, imagine you don't even have to say gay pride anymore. Yeah. You say pride month. How yeah. insidious. They snuck it in. Yeah. They slowly yeah. took over pride. Like they took over the rainbow. It's yeah. Rainbows yeah. are that is it's so funny to think that University of Hawaii used to have rainbows on their helmets. Can't have it anymore. You just listened to a portion of Joe Rogan's podcast where he bemoaned queers who insidiously took over pride and hijacked rainbows because this is definitely a very serious issue that serious people care about. You know, I think this just goes to show you that rich people have too much time on their hands. When you are so rich like Joe Rogan, when you are a hundred millionaire, you literally have to invent things to be mad about. Otherwise, your life will just be too boring, I guess. But my favorite part about that clip was Tom Segura just sitting there uncomfortably nodding along and then trying to gently move the conversation into less explicitly homophobic territory because I think that he knows. Like, if he pushes back too much here, then he's not going to be invited back on. But also, he doesn't want to appear homophobic. So, you know, defending gay people, getting invited on Joe Rogan's show... It's hard to walk that fine line, but I do believe that Tom Segura straddled the fence perfectly. But when it comes to Joe Rogan, I mean, he's an asshole, right? And watching that tells me that he's just devolved further into being a Fox News grandpa. But it's even worse than that because he even sounds like those whiny evangelicals who are part of the Reclaim the Rainbow movement who accuse the LGBTQ mafia of misappropriating their religious symbol. (laughs) But I mean, at the end of the day... We all know that contrived outrage over the rainbow being stolen is just a more respectable way of saying that they hate gays and they wish that we'd go back into the closet. And the same thing is true for Joe Rogan, right? But we'll come back to that because first, I want to discuss how angry he is that gays took over the word pride. Um, Now, you can argue that the word pride It's become pretty synonymous with, you know, the fight for gay rights. I think that that's fair, sure. But there's also something known as context. And that changes depending on how you use particular words, right? I feel like I shouldn't have to explain this to someone who is twice my age. But regardless, we're going to do it. But first, let's get back to basics. So the definition of pride is a feeling of deep pleasure or satisfaction derived from one's own achievements or consciousness of one's own dignity. Now, missing from the definition is gay. Now, I feel like it's useless to even go to the definition because Joe Rogan is somebody who lacks common sense and basic reading comprehension. For example, he reacted to an MSNBC article about how the right and the red pill movement is fixated on health. And he just responded with something to the effect of, what the fuck? Being healthy is far right now? So we're not dealing with the brightest bulb, right? But the point is that pride is used in different contexts still. It's not just a gay word. I mean, I guess if you want to give the word to gays, then we'll take it. But I mean, it's it's still used in a variety of contexts. Like when somebody tells you to swallow your pride, they're not asking you to swallow a cock. They're asking you to check your ego. If somebody says that they're a proud black man, I don't automatically assume that they're coming out of the closet, right? And Joe Rogan might be dumb, but there's at least enough brain cells left in his skull, I hope, to realize this. The problem is that he's irritated with gay visibility and he doesn't want to say it. Right. And this is the only way he knows how to articulate that without sounding overly homophobic. But I mean, it's it's a little bit too late. He's he's been going mask off on this issue for years now, so he should just say what he feels. Now, in the lead up to this conversation, he was talking about pride and he pretended to not know why gay people are prideful in the first place while discussing Bud Light and Dylan Mulvaney. And I want to share this clip with you because it gives us a lot of insight into the thinking of Joe Rogan, not that there's much thinking going on, but like what little thinking that is there, like what little brain activity is there. I do think that this uh, this clip is very insightful. So a lot of like uh, LBGTQ and whatever the other letters are, those bars stopped carrying Bud Light. So it's because they felt like Bud Light didn't back them up. And then there was video footage of them sponsoring a pride parade. 
So it's like a Bud Light parade truck yeah. with a bunch of people dancing around like, we like to fuck guys too. And I'm, yeah. like, I'm a girl. And yeah. I like to fuck girls. Yeah. Like, it's whatever it is. It's like they're like dancing around inside this. Yeah. So th th now they're advertising in front of the, the pride people. And so then the people are like, oh, they're fucking doubling down. It's like they can't win. No. That clip took me back. I mean, the limp wrist, that is some old school homophobia. I don't think that I remember seeing that since maybe middle school or elementary school. So that is quite the throwback there. But as you saw, he feigned ignorance about gay pride and suggested that it's just about people boasting about who they like to fuck. But mm, it's a little bit more complicated, right? It's a little bit more nuanced than that, as the kids would say. Unless you are asexual or agender, then you have a sexual orientation and a gender identity. Yes, cis people have gender identities too. But if you're cis and straight, the difference is that you're not shamed because of it, right? You're not shamed for just being who you are. Gay people and trans people, however, they have been historically discriminated against and shamed because of who they love and who they are. So pride isn't just about, hey, everyone, look at me. I like to fuck the same sex or I like to be the opposite gender. It's about being comfortable in your own skin and being confident enough to be who you are despite society desperately trying to force you back into the closet. But let's revisit what I said earlier about Joe Rogan hiding the ball. So in a different podcast episode with Theo Vaughn, he bitches about Target's pride displays, and I want to show you uh, what he said about this because um, also very insightful about what he's thinking. Target lost billions of dollars because they tried to have this pride selection. Oh, yeah, gay mannequins. Yeah, they, they well, they had all these, like, pride children's shirts yeah. and... Gay children, yeah. yeah. And then, Sorry. obviously, the Bud Light thing with Dylan Mulvaney, they've lost 20-plus billion dollars. You imagine... You just gonna send a fucking can to some confused person that uh, day three hundred sixty five of womanhood, and you send that person a fucking can with their face on, and your company loses twenty billion dollars. That is wild, shit, man. So we're seeing that now, yeah. where we never saw that before, where people are going enough, right? Enough, stop shoving this down everybody's throat. When I go to Target, I don't want to see like. Yeah, tuck pants where you like they're designed to help you tuck your dick. like hey, that's not normal And I don't want that right in front of everybody first of all calling a trans person confused is explicitly transphobic I mean gay people were called confused too, right when I came out my family said that I was going through a phase So if you can extrapolate that and apply it to trans people, it's the same argument same bigoted playbook and it's ironic because Joe Rogan is literally receiving gender from and care himself in the form of steroids. See, this is the double standard because when middle-aged men put, let's say, Rogan on their scalps, they're not confused. That gender affirming care is perfectly fine, but when trans people receive gender affirming care, when they start using different pronouns and different clothing, well, they're confused. It's a double standard and it's transphobia, period. That's all it is. And... I think that what bothers him is that you can tell that they're not confused. Trans people, especially Dylan Mulvaney, who he's talking about, seem pretty confident with who they are, right? You just don't want them to be comfortable and happy. You don't like that. It makes you unhappy. But the main point is that he feels like all of this LGBTQ plus stuff is being shoved down his throat and he doesn't want to see it. He doesn't want to see tuck-friendly swimsuits, for example, at the stores. And Theo Vaughn, his guest, went along with it. And every single Joe Rogan guest should feel deeply insulted by that invite because understand that he is bringing you on specifically because he knows that you're a beta cuck and you're never going to disagree with anything that he says or push back too hard. So if I got an invite from, uh, from Joe Rogan, if I were Theo Vaughn, I'd take that as an insult. It's the same as, oh, are you calling me stupid? Because that's effectively what it is. But I mean, that clip, it demonstrates what I mean when I say that Joe Rogan is hiding the ball. He is homophobic. He is transphobic, but he doesn't want to say it. When you're to the point where LGBTQ plus visibility triggers you and you have to say, oh, my God, I don't want to see it. I mean, you're like, 
one step away from just saying the quiet part loud, that you hate them and you want them to go back into the closet. I mean, imagine how silly it would sound if gay people or trans people said the same thing. Like, imagine if a trans person was like, I am so sick and tired of seeing cis people in every single movie. Imagine if I said, I'm so sick of all these straight sex scenes that I see in every single TV show. Yesterday, I saw a straight couple hold hands. Why are they trying to shove it down my throats? Like, imagine... How stupid it would sound if I said something like that. But you see, I don't say something like that. One, because I'm an adult. And two, because I don't actually hate straight people and cis people. I'm not bothered by their existence. There's no visceral reaction when I see a straight couple kissing. It doesn't turn me on. But it's not like I'm like, oh my god, ew. Because that's some baby shit. Joe Rogan, however, you know, he he's just too much of a pussy. Or should we call him a bonus hole? To say what he really thinks. He hates us. He hates queer people but he doesn't want to say it. But Joe, we know what you're thinking. So just say it with your full chest. Don't be a fucking pussy. Just say you hate gay people, say you hate trans people, and say you want them all to go away. Just say it, you fucking bonus hole. We know that he's thinking it, but he just won't say it. I mean, I, for one, I'm so sick and tired of seeing Joe Rogan everywhere. Every time I log into Twitter, there's another Joe Rogan clip. Every time I'm on Spotify, there's Joe Rogan's podcast right there. But I'm not going to beat around the bush and just complain about how much Joe Rogan I see. I'm going to come out and just say I fucking hate Joe Rogan because I do. And even if I don't say that, it's evident that my feelings are that even if I don't explicitly say it. But Joe Rogan won't say the same thing about queer people because he's a coward. If every single word that you speak, speak about queer people oozes with disdain and hate and spite, I think it is patronizing to just pretend that you're totally cool with the queers when it's obvious that you hate us you've made your feelings known a long time ago right you went mask off years ago but i mean i should be clear i don't think that this is some sort of a calculation i don't think that joe rogan is making this savvy choice to like use coded words to be homophobic because he's he's stupid right i think that he actually does think that he is an ally to gay people, and maybe he doesn't feel in his heart that he hates them, even if he's very deeply bothered by their existence, but I think that he believes that just supporting basic civil rights, like marriage equality, for example, that's sufficient to make him an ally. Like, I actually think he's stupid enough to believe this, but you can't be an ally or you can't even support us if you're both sides in this issue. I mean, in the span of a couple of years, he's been on both sides of LGBTQ plus issues. I mean, he supported DeSantis's don't say gay law. And then months later, he subsequently condemned Republicans for being against gay marriage. He also talked about how Republicans should leave gay people alone, but yet you're supporting their crusade against gay people. He also drank Bud Light following the hysteria over Dylan Mulvaney, but then attacked Dylan Mulvaney because she's confused according to him i mean it's this weasley way of giving yourself plausible deniability so that way when somebody accuses you of being homophobic or transphobic you can simply point to the times when you weren't as evidence that you're not but i mean there's really no both sides in these types of civil rights issues regardless if it's explicit or implicit or overt or implied bigotry is still bigotry and he can try to hide the ball and cloak his disdain for queer people in disingenuous language and disingenuous rants about target but at the end of the day we all know where he stands he is complicit in spreading anti-lgbtq plus bigotry and any guests who just comes on that show and nervously sits there while he's explicitly condemning the queer community, throwing an entire community under a bus. If you don't call it out, you're complicit. And Tom Segura and uh, Theo Vaughn, they were complicit there. So either way, Joe Rogan is a moron and he's also a coward. Woke mom. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke test. Woke ideology. Woke Olympics. Woke ideology. 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 Wo